Hey everybody, it's your host of the most, Samus here, and I'm back playing some Colat. I think that's how it's pronounced. I fancy playing a horror game, because I don't know if any of you guys remember back when I first started this channel, it was a horror game channel. So I thought I'd go back to my roots and play some horror game, and plus I wanted to be scared. And this game, just, I don't know, it just looked right and felt right. But further ado, we're going to get into it and we're going to play this game together. Green screen, yeah, you know. Pushing the boat out because you know it doesn't cost like five hundred dollars a month to maintain. So I thought I'm about to do it. It's cheap, cheerful, everyone's happy. But uh, yes, okay. Let's uh, enjoy, shall we? Fifty-six years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. Okay. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. Yes. I think this is based on real. Their journey events, seemed to progress so according to plan. Cool. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. Okay. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. Kolat. Ah, I did say it right. Kolat. It was their last stop. Oh. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. I guess they all died. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The what? surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. Oh dear. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. Oh. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. Yeah. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. What the fuck? One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the, the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. Nice. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that mm. of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth oh. and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen from yeah. an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. Huh. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Well, Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered spooky deep skeletons under the snow. Skeletons? Skeletons. I guess it's my job to go find out and uh, scare myself shitless. Um, I'll continue doing this if uh, the response I get from this is positive. Oh, oh, is it? This is the game? Oh. Weren't this pretty? Huh. Can I go in here? It's really cold. Can I go in? No. Just keep... Where? I don't understand where I am. This game does look epic. Okay, let's go. Go straight on over here. I'm not sure if this is like jump scare sort of horror. Or actually stuff come after you for atmosphere horror. I don't know what type of horror this can be classed as, but so far, I'm impressed with the quality. It does look really nice. Um, let's go down here. This music, though. Jesus Christ, this music. Let me move the microphone a bit closer to my gob. Because I can. Let's just, um... Keep walking, shall we? Unless there was something back there I needed to explore. No. It's getting really windy. I'm 
go have, have a look over in this house. Is there a way in? Hello? Why, why am I here though? I don't understand. Why, why am I here? What can I possibly bring to this expedition that is needed? Okay, let's just keep going down this way. Um, let's go over this way. I'm not 100% sure where we've got to go. It just dumps you in the middle of nowhere and says, this is snow, this is what's happened. So just go out there on your own and try not to die. That's pretty much what it's saying. I just noticed I had a blue tongue. Yeah, still got a blue tongue. I've been eating these sweets. At uh, a blueberry bonbons, I think they're called. Really nice. I hear something. I can hear like a siren. Not me, is it? Surely not. Hmm. I think that's the way I just came from, so we're gonna go straight over here. Let's go over here and have a butcher's. Oh, 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 okay. That doesn't look creepy. Violin stop. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Because we are mentally. Oh. What? Who? Please. Ni hao. Friendly. Shit, I'm gonna die. Oh, uh, shit. Oh. Oh, okay, it's a cave. Yeah, what? Oh, my God. This is... This, this... It's freaking me out a little bit. <gasps> oh, okay. In the end, what? the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart. What? I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. Okay. I welcome the end with delight. I don't welcome the end with delight. Oh! I see a light. I see a light. I'm not going crazy. I do actually see a light. Oh my god! Awesome. Press E. Hello. I Friendly. Am right behind you. What the hell? What is going on here? I'm a little bamboozled to what the hell is going on. Uh, fell for a hole mysteriously appeared in the middle of a stormy snowy desert thing found a tent found a kumpai <laughs> compass and um now i don't know act two so that was act one have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity tried it it just well, puts to escape you have been no more than subject an object which they can bend to their will when they told you <clears throat> who deserved punishment when you could really not remember your sins what sins when they took away your loved ones leaving you to rot in the dark oh okay that's a footstep that is another footstep is, but in their darkness, there's a red thing never been alone. up there what is it hmm. can I play yet I'm saving You know what? It's pretty dark. I, I don't. I'm gonna go back. I can't even go back. All right, let's follow the golden footsteps. Press F for survival. F1 for survival, in fact. Okay. Uh, let's shit 
in Loop Surge, Jer, before setting off for a long journey, rest in the camp, set. Okay, right. Click mouse button on any object to take a better look. Uh, F flashlight. Uh, C and all that. Okay. I think we got this. I played enough Minecraft to understand survival. So, let's uh, adventure. I'm trying not to die. I'm gonna die. Definitely gonna die. Let the glow. Hello. <coughs> Can I step on that? Because it looks like a lot. Like a I'm going for it, man. What is it? I set out the moment I heard. <coughs> Yes. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. Did they? One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, yes. I explained to them what the unit's role was in this Ouch. mission, and that all discoveries or observations my should elbow. be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings... That's enough talking. I get the idea. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get the fuck back down, rocks! Oh my god! Moment of do! Okay. <clears throat> um. Yeah. That just happened. There's a glowy thing up in that mountain now. Let's have a look at, let's have a look at the map. Uh, does that... If I move, does that move with me? I think it does. I, um... I, don't, I really don't get this. Hmm... Oh. Wait. Are these coordinates? These are coordinates. So, um, seven and fifty-two. Okay, that's right up there. So we got to go up there for something. Shut up! Just shut up. No sounds. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, where is the... Uh, okay. I don't, I don't even know where my base is. I don't, I don't even know where I, where I am, actually. Oh, there's base. So, I, I guess the... There's a ski right there. Can't we just strap it to our feet? Let's I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm pushing A, but it's bringing up my map. And how do I end? Let's bring up the map again. To get up to that area, it seems like it's all shut off. So these are the footpaths that we can go. This, I assume the dots are a cave system. Uh. Okay, you know what? Adventure. You can't have an adventure without probably dying. Because, you know, the fear of death is what keeps me awake. Okay. Huh. Oh! That's pretty easy. It's all lit up gold and stuff, so relatively easy to follow. 
Just as long as nothing like a wolf or anything makes me jump. Oh. Okay. How do I... Question, how do I get up there? <coughs> also, you guys, I've got... Uh... Oh! Okay, if you want to read that, pause the video. But I'm not reading that. Um, I've got a bit of a cold as well. So, hence why I haven't made a video in a couple of days. And why, while I haven't really done retro days. Because this is the first day I've actually felt okay enough to record something anyway. How do I get over there? Map... Okay, that's where I found the note. So that is where I currently is. So if I, I need to kind of, if I try and go back and go up that way, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I, I can do that. I would like to think the temperature outside be that cold enough to freeze that lake. So if I just go around here. Okay, let's try and see if my theory is correct. Post with a face on it. Not gonna lie to you. Not my favourite place to be right now. Hello? Anything? No? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna keep going, I suppose. Aha! Theory correctorum. Because this lake is frozen over. So. Or, or is it going to be like one of those things like, yeah, I'm frozen, you step on it, you die. Just don't run in it. Maybe if it, if you run, does ice crack? There's a fire over there. There's a fire over there. I'm going to go to that fire one first. Let's go on this bit where the uh, snow seems to... Is that, is that ice? You know, still? at the beginning, I was... Oh, shit, Hello. What is it? Just a tool of revenge. Why is there fire? Who said who would make that fire? Up here anyway. Am I out or am I down? That's up I don't know. I'm gonna follow the fire. To safety. Way. I think I actually went the right way, you know. Let's go up, 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 and away. I guess. Oh, cool. That's what I want to see. Skulls. Not just any skulls. Human skulls. So, you know, this is going to be great fun. But I am Sam. Adventurer and retard, so I'm just gonna keep going forward. I don't know one of those uh, wood carving things. Isn't that nice? Hello, Peter the Liv Coming to me. Who? Half expecting to look down and see a bunch of people like walking out going crap, people, crap. I'm just like, oh shit. Yeah, that's gonna be safe. It's going to be all, like, slippery and stuff. But YOLO. Oh, yeah. I mean, a game wouldn't make it where you die straight away, right? Probably. Probably would. Okay. Let's keep on going. I'm going to keep on adventuring until we get somewhere. <clears throat> I thought someone just shushed me then. I thought I had a shh. I was like, ugh. Um, yeah, alright. I trust this. I trust it. I put trust in you. I'm going down there. 
Fuck it. What? Shit. Run. Run. <coughs> I was going to die. That was an avalanche. And I... There's a ghost right there. I just saw a ghost, and I am not even lying. I could see it. <coughs> oh, God. Look! Did you fucking see that? You have to have seen that. It's like a... Like a... A fart cloud just floating through a wall. I don't want to go... No, it just breathed as well. You know what? <laughs> I'm Sam. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. This it's a game. It's a game. You can't get hurt. It's just oh! I knew there was something there. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh my god. <coughs> what the hell was that? It's like I could hear something. I saw a ghost. And I was like, no, nah, I could hear like someone growling. And then I unpause it. It's like, yeah, that was me. And I died. Well, the fuck am I? If I just go look on the map. Note to self. Adventuring bad. Very bad. Um, you know, I think I've, I've been going for quite some time. I'm going to end this episode here. <laughs> I'm actually sweating. Like, favorite, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more, cool, then you know what to do. And that is smash the hell out of the... You know what? Don't even smash the hell out of the like button. Just throw your mouse at the computer and hope something magical happens. If you break your computer, I will not be held responsible. But uh, I might give you a thumbs up. <laughs> Um, anyway, I've been going on for quite some time. I'll see you all. Um, I will have to go back there at the end of it. I, I have to go back there. Although I'll probably die again. Anyway, tell you about your sex, people, and I'll see you all on the next episode. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>